Good morning everybody and happy Sunday. Did you guys all have a good week? What is your favorite thing you did this week? I want you guys to pause this video and tell your family what is your favorite thing that you guys all did this week. Do that right now and I'll wait here. Come back. We've been talking about partying for Jesus for a while now. We've talked about worshiping God through prayer, worshiping by how we live, worshiping God during hard times, and worshiping God out loud. These are all different ways that we can party for Jesus. We're going to finish this off today by talking about one last party that had some unexpected guests. But before we get into that, I want to play a game that has some party hats. So I have three party hats here and one little red bead. I'm going to put the bead under this hat here in the middle, and then I'm going to shuffle them all around. And your guys' job is to watch with your eyes and see which hat I have the bead in after I shuffle them all around. So let's do that now. Now that they're all shuffled, I don't remember which bead, which hat the bead is under. So let's see if we can figure this out. If you guys think it is this hat right here, you guys are not right. And if you think it is this hat, congratulations, you guys are also not right. But if you think it is this hat right here, congratulations, you guys got it right. Good job. Give yourself a pat on the back. Uh, so was it hard to guess which hat had the bead under it? You might have lost track of the hat with the bead under it when they were all shuffled around. Today we're going to hear a story about a party that had some guests shuffled around. The people who attended this party were not the first people that were invited. But before we get into that, I want to reveal this week's big idea. You guys know how much I love big ideas, so can you guys give me a drum roll from home while I open the envelope? Alright, this week's big idea is that we're invited to Jesus' party. I'm going to put that on the screen and I want you guys to repeat it back to me. All right, three, two, one, go. Great job, guys. So we've been talking about parties for a long time now, and today we're going to hear a Bible story about one last party. The story is in Luke chapter 14, verses 15, all the way through 24. If you want, you can pause this video right now and go get your Bible or your Bible app. And look that up otherwise I'm gonna get started reading now after Jesus had finished speaking one of the guests said the greatest blessing of all is to be at the banquet in God's kingdom Jesus told him a man once gave a great banquet and invited a lot of guests when the banquet was ready he sent a servant to tell the guests everything is ready please come one guest after another started making excuses the first one said, I bought some land and I've got to look it over. Please excuse me. Another guest said, I bought five teams of oxen and I need to try them out. Please excuse me. Still another guest said, I have just gotten married and I can't be there. The servant told his master what happened. And the master became so angry that he said, go as fast as you can to every street and alley in town. Bring in everyone who is poor or crippled or blind or lame. When the servant returned, he said, master, I've done what you told me, and there is still plenty of room for more people. His master t then told him, Go out along the back roads and the fence rows, and make people come in so that my house will be full. Not one of the guests I first invited will get even a bite of food. In this Bible story, Jesus told a parable. A parable is a story used to teach people something that was important. This parable that Jesus told was about someone who threw a big dinner party and invited a whole bunch of people to come. But did they show up? No! They all had excuses about why they couldn't come. Do you remember what the master did after the first guest turned down the invitation? He sent the servant out to the streets to invite people who were outcasts. They were unimportant or just people who were in need. And they got to enjoy the amazing food and the wonderful party. So who do you think the first guest represent? The first guests represent people who say no to Jesus' invitation to know him and love him. Remember our big idea this week is we're all invited to Jesus' party? What about the second guests who came to the party? Who do you think they represent? The people who came to the banquet were the people who wanted to follow Jesus. They came to Jesus' party. And we can choose to accept Jesus' invitation to know God. 
And when we do, we get to be the special guests at his party. Jesus' party is a party where everyone is invited, everyone is loved, everyone can, is wanted, and everyone can invite their friends too. That's how life with Jesus works. Everyone is always invited. What does it mean to party with Jesus? It means that we get to live a life of adventure and fullness as we grow in our relationship with him here on earth. It also means that we get to spend eternity with God. Do you know what eternity means? That means forever. I have one more Bible verse I want to share with you guys. And this is John 3, 16, which says, God loves the world so much that he gave his one and only son. So whoever believes in him will not die, but will live forever in heaven. So this verse says that God loves the world. That's you and me. He loves the, us so much that he sent Jesus to die so that he could take the punishment for our sins. And because of that, we can have a relationship, relationship with him now and forever. So I want you guys to imagine an instrument or go get one if you have one, like a harmonica, a trumpet, a piano, a guitar, whatever it is that you might have. Go get that or just imagine one. What's the purpose of that instrument? Easy. Its purpose is to make music. But what happens if all it does is sit there and nobody plays it? Does it fulfill its purpose? No. The only way for the instrument to fulfill the purpose for which it was created is for someone to play it. And we're just like the instrument. When we aren't living for God, we are like an instrument just sitting on itself. We aren't living the purpose that God has for us. But now, try to play that instrument. That's a better way to use the instrument. Just like that instrument, God wants to do something great through you, but he can only do it if you accept his invitation and follow him. So you need to accept the invitation to his party. And I have one question. How can accepting the invitation of Jesus change your life right now? I want you guys to talk about that with your families this week and see what you guys can come up with. Uh, there'll be a few more questions on the screen after this, parents, if you want to keep this conversation going with your kids. Um, we're going to pray, and then that's it. I hope you guys all have a great week, and we'll see you back here soon. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for the invitation to join you at your party. We love you so much, God. Help us to remember to worship you out loud, to worship you during hard times, to love you more, and, and thank you so much for all you've done. Keep us safe, and amen. All right, bye guys, have a great week.